Could you guys please just wait a little while? Uh, this thing with Henry might not work out at all. Ross, don't you see this is our last chance? The bastards are at the city gates. Let's stand at the bridge together. Let's stand at the bridge and push the barbarians back. Right. Just give me a minute. Henry, thank you for coming. Ross. George, Ross, hope you don't mind meeting in the conference room. All the men's johns are full. <laughs> now, the way I see it, we're down to keep it simple, Tom. What really makes the most sense all the way around is for us to do this buyout together. At the $90 a share you guys have proposed. The way Peter structured it, my management group would own 20% of the company. Am I right, Peter? In that area, yeah. Uh, we'd want to review that arrangement. It seems awfully generous. You know, whatever it winds up, I'm suggesting that everything else gets split 50-50 between you and Shearson. In addition to our customary 1% for our services. $200 million. You might want to reconsider that amount, Henry. A lot of people are watching this process, including Congress. Well, we certainly wouldn't want to do anything to hurt the business we've grown to love and admire. Now, is that it, then? Basically, those terms being acceptable... We got ourselves a deal here. We want Drexel Burnham to sell the bonds on this one. Instead of Shearson? They want to deal with size needs. They want to affect your share. They work cheap and they're the best. They're also about to go before a grand jury because of their Milk and Bosky connection. Just what we need, stationary from Alcatraz. <laughs> Maybe you ought to think about that one, Henry. We have thought about it, Ross. With or without you, we're going for this company. Now, first off, I'd like you to know that in the interest of the company, I have retained the services of Peter Atkins, the firm of Scadden Arps, to act as special counsel to advise us and guide us through the legal obligations of this matter. Peter? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Good afternoon. Before you are copies of the proposals for the buyout of RJR Nabisco. And where do we stand? Ross Johnson's bid, his and Shearson's, is for $100 a share. That's an offer of $23 billion. And KKR? $94 a share. $21.6 billion. That's quite a difference in price. I'll give you a bigger one. The first Boston group is prepared to offer between $105 and $118. That's $3 billion more than the Johnson offer. Is First Boston for real? Well, their proposal is based on taking advantage of certain tax loopholes. If the board has any interest, we'll need some expert advice as to the viability of it all. It would take a week to ten days. I'd say the board has about $26 billion worth of interest in waiting for them. <laughs> Your patience during this ten-day interval, it was obviously a step that had to be taken. Now, that said, I'll turn the meeting over to Peter Atkins. Thank you. Uh, to begin, let me tell you that we're now down to two bidders. After a good deal of effort, First Boston was simply not able to put their offer on the table. That leaves us with Ross Johnson. His groups bumped their previous bid from $100 a share to $101. I think we need to take a very careful look at what KKR has offered. What do you think? I think it's going to be a long day. Very long day. say the deciding factor, the one thing that made the Kravis offer more attractive, was the fact that you were not part of it. No 
nobody's going to deny that there's not a fair amount of greed going around these days. I guess it's just a question of how much greed is fair. This, yours, was over the top. Thank you. will be right. I just dropped by to say thank you. you know, for making me a hero with my shareholders. $25.7 billion for the company. That's very generous for us. Yes, well, we don't take over until after the first of the year. We don't have any plans at the end. Well, just hop in. Congratulations. You guys bought yourself one hell of a company. I really hate to leave on a sour note, but uh, about that $25 billion, if you're planning on signing for it, Jim Robinson just canceled your American Express card. 